Are you sure you're ready for this? You ate all your chicken nuggets like a good boy. Here you go. Do you need mommy to help you? Yeah. No. What are you going to do with that big thing? That's a big cupcake, isn't it? Does it smell good? Ow. <laughs> Is it good? You're done? <laughs> okay, well, finish chewing that in your mouth and I will uh, clean your hands up and we'll give you one. You ready? Okay. Are you ready for it? There you go, princess. <laughs> it's pretty big, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> yeah? You like yours too? Hey there everyone, it is Tuesday and I've just laid the kids down for a nap. They are still kind of bouncing around in their beds right now, which is not unusual considering they did have a cupcake before they took a nap. That was probably not the greatest idea, but I think that they deserved it. I took them with me to the gym today and typically they push the little handicap buttons to open the doors. That's kind of their thing they like to do each time we go in and out of the gym. When we were leaving, somebody had already pushed it and typically they go ahead and still push it anyway so that they can think they did it themselves. But this time they just wanted to walk through the doors and they told the lady thank you and I thought that was so sweet. And then once we got outside, there was another gentleman sitting on the curb and they both were like hi bye and they kept telling the other lady thank you as we were walking to the car and they were just I don't know they were great but once we got in the car Ryan didn't want to share her goldfish <laughs> and so that caused a fight and I had to listen to screaming kids on the way home but that was only like a five minute drive not that big of a deal we got home I told them if they ate their chicken nuggets then they could have a cupcake and they did so I just I don't know I just today has been a good day so far and I think that they deserved it while they're napping I'm going to grab myself a bite to eat I made a taco salad and I've got some um, fake cheese here <laughs> but I just put some gluten-free chips in here along with some salad lettuce and then I've got the meat of course and salsa so of course, when I have somewhere I've got to be, my kids decide to take a longer nap than normal. So I am just waiting on them to wake up. I've cleaned up a little bit and uh, we've got an appointment we need to go to. All right, so I had to wake them up, which pained me, but they seem to be in good moods. All right, and we have Mr. Biscuit. He's going on a ride with us and you guys are going to go to Nana and Papa's house to hang out with them for a little bit. Okay guys, so we just arrived at the vet's office and I am currently getting ready to take Biscuit in to see the vet. He hasn't been doing, um, he's been doing okay. He's been sleeping a lot, which is typical. I mean, he's old, 15, 16 years old. And I think he's losing some weight, which isn't good. And then of course, if you've been following us for some time now, you'll know that he had been diagnosed with um, early stages of kidney failure. So it wasn't anything drastic at the time because I was able to put him on some special food and he's been fine. But I was told that once it starts kicking in, like really bad that it'll go downhill really quick so that being said we decided to go ahead and do some blood work on him since he has been losing some weight and he's just not been very peppy lately um, and he's also had some loose bowels with um, some blood in it so we're just a little worried and we definitely don't want him to be in pain um, putting him to sleep is kind of like I don't even want to think about that right now because it's just a hard decision to do um, but we definitely don't want him in pain and at the same time if we have a sense of I don't know if we have if we have the ability to know about how long he still has with us I think it would help me prepare and my husband prepare and then um, just it just helps us to be prepared I just don't 
I always worry when I go downstairs to check on him and everything or to let him outside for the day or whatever that uh, we're going to go down there and he's not going to be with us anymore. And um, so yeah, we're, that's what we're doing today. Hopefully everything is all good and still in the up and up and he's just old. You smelling all the smells? It feels amazing to sit down right now. Um, yeah, so we're home and it's 6.30. I've got dinner cooking and I just wanted to get on here and give you a quick update on Biscuit. Surprisingly, everything is A-OK. -okay. I say A-OK, -okay, but what I really mean is that he still, of course, he'll never get over the chronic kidney failure disease. He just, he's got it. And at some point in time, that is probably, you know, it's probably going to take him away from us but we just don't know when the last time he was seen at that vet was this time last year and the numbers are practically the exact same as they were last year which isn't great but it's good because they're not elevated and they've, they've not changed in the like negative form. So he's doing really good eating the food that we've got him on, which is uh, KD, I think it's Science Diet is the brand. He has lost some weight. He's lost five pounds since last year and that was a little worrisome, but it's to be expected with kidney failure. The only thing we want to kind of figure out is was the five pounds over the course of the year or was the five pounds like just recently i honestly wanted to make the appointment a couple weeks ago because i had him groomed and everything and i was like holy crap he's lost weight that's to be expected so we just have to keep an eye on his weight um i explained that he sleeps a lot that's normal uh the vet said that is you know his priority right now is he wants to sleep and he wants to rest. But yeah, everything else seemed to be fine. It's just crazy. This dog, I keep saying he's 15. Guys, he is 17 years old, 17. We adopted him when he was 13 because our friend passed away and he was her dog. So we adopted him and yeah, it's crazy. It's I can't believe we've had him that long. I mean, honestly, when we first got him, we thought we're only going to have him for probably a year or two at the most. He'll come out, watch out. You're you gonna sound tired. Hey, old man. I can't believe you're 17. You're 17. You ready to go inside? Huh? You ready to go inside? Yeah. Can you get up? There you go, little boy. Good job. Let's go inside. Come on. All right, hang on. All right, ready? You gonna lit. read the magazine? Yeah. All right. Help Daddy read. Say lit. Collect a decade's worth of artist Tracy Emmons workshop for your coffee table. Perfect. Hits <laughs> bookstores this fall. Your copy. ASAP. That's right. Full of Emmons colorful and invoco. That's right. Paintings, sculptures, neon, installations, and more. Pretty in pink. Pretty in pink. Hey, pretty in pink. Do it again. Pretty in pink. <laughs> Inspire shoe envy. With some sky high. 
Scandals and rocks. <laughs> Rock'em socks. <laughs> you should like it. Your sister's trying to be cute and you're ruining the moment. You're ruining the moment. She's reading the Marie Claire magazine and you're ruining the moment. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get tickled now too. <laughs> Carter, you're ruining the moment. I know, always. <laughs> Are you okay? Here's what she thinks of that magazine. No! You gonna help Daddy feed the doggies? <laughs> Just one scoop. Um, somebody's not gonna be happy, Carter. That's not a big scoop. Let me help you. Let me help you. There, there you go. go. Alright, put this under there for Zoe. Good job. That's Keiko's. Put it right here on the floor. Say so bring the doggies. Here they come. There they are. Carter, you have to let him. No, let her have her food. Let Zoe have her food. Thank you. What was the surprise, Brandy? Surprise cupcakes. Well, somebody's got to continue the vlog. So I might have had two more cupcakes after that one that I had. Because I kept finding stuff in the middle. It was like something different every time I bit into a cupcake. And it was just delicious. So, <laughs> definitely going to the gym again tomorrow. Shannon is currently on a client call and the kids are in bed. So, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video for you guys. I hope everyone has had a great day. I know we did. I was thoroughly impressed with the outcome of the vet visit today with Biscuit. To all our new viewers, welcome. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and we will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.